Some 45,000 waterbuck graze in the floodplains of the Gorongosa National Park in Mozambique. But that's actually too many for the grass to sustain itself. Today, the animals are more jumpy than usual. On the edge of the savanna, something is afoot. Staff from the Southern African Conservation Group Peace Parks are out to get them. A huge structure with high walls will guide the antelope into a cattle truck. It's part of our rewilding process. So in total we'll move uh, around 1,400 animals from here, um, which includes waterback, and we'll also move 200 reedback this year. The peace and quiet of the bush is shattered as the hunt begins. A helicopter circles groups of waterbuck and drives them in the direction of the truck. Those on the ground get much closer to the frightened animals. When a Myberg, the head of Peace Parks, has come along too, he spent years helping to prepare this initiative. We're making quite a big effort to translocate animals back to a park that has been completely wiped out of animals. So there's, there's no animals at all. So what happened is in, in uh, Mozambique there was a civil war that lasted over 16 years. Um, and as a result, a lot of the wildlife was decimated. Uh, um, and the, to, to bring back the animals, you have to come to a place like Gorongosa National Park, catch animals and then take them all the way to, to new parks that are being rehabilitated. The Gorongosa National Park was one of the first in Mozambique to be repopulated after the civil war ended two decades ago. The effort paid off. Today, there are even lions here, and the park has enough animals to give away. The water buck now begin their journey to the Zanavi National Park. It's a 16-hour non-stop ride. In the meantime, staff from Peace Parks are already at Zanavi, meeting with Mozambican officials. They discuss how to develop infrastructure to make the park more easily accessible. Bartolomeo Soto, the Director General of Mozambique's National Parks, supports the project. That's easy to do in two years time. Now we can. Yeah. There is a national strategy that uh, Zinav uh, fits in, is that we want to rebuild all the protected area to help the socio-economic development of Mozambique. As yet, Zinavi has nothing. Houses are being built for the future rangers, and transferring the animals alone will cost $2.5 million. Peace Parks is children much of the financial burden, but it's also looking for donors. There are people living both in and around the park, most of them impoverished farmers or fishermen. They often clear the bush for farmland by setting fire to it. The conservationists hope to discourage that by ensuring the park provides a new source of employment. The next day, the truck carrying the water buck finally reaches its destination. Despite the long journey, the animals appear in good condition and are soon ready to explore their new surroundings. But it's just one step on the long road to recreating the natural paradise that Zanavi once was. It will take time. If you think there's, there's very few animals left to rebuild the wildlife, bring it back to, to where it was, it will take anything 15 to 20 years to really get it back to just having reinstated the, the wildlife as it was before. Over the next few years, the water box will be joined by some 7,500 animals from other African parks. And so, gradually, Zanavi will come back to life.